Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how you can easily connect Facebook ad account with HubSpot. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just be in HubSpot and then click here on marketing and ads. When you're going to be here, you want to click connect accounts and then you want to click Facebook. So wait a second, I got it blocked here. So I come here again, Facebook. I will need to refresh the website and I will just log in here. Click login. Okay. And now HubSpot ads would like to manage your ads, manage your business, show a list of pages you manage. Okay. And now I just choose the account ID. I'm going to love auto tracking. Click connect. And now as we can see, the Facebook is connected. Click next. Now I have uh, the page IDs. So you're just going to choose which one you want. And let's get, let's say that I'm going to, I don't choose this one here. Click next. I just choose a pixel. We go to add dashboard. And now I'm going to see uh, all my ads here and impressions. And what you can do simply is just create an audience if you want to by website visitors or contact list. And then on the top right, you can simply click create ad campaign. And now you can go by post engagement here, website traffic or lead generation. I'm going to choose the post engagement. Now I will click next here. And now add account, mine, select the page, which one you want. Then create a new campaign or you can select from existing. Add creative, you can use existing post or create, create completely new ad. And now you're going to see the HubSpot page here. You can manually enter URL. You can add image and video, text and body and copy, headline and call to action. To learn more, apply now get offer, get quote, that's really, it's completely up to what is your actual goal, right? Then you're going to see targeting. So now uh, special ad category, is your ad related to housing, employment or credit, learn more. You can simply choose that. Real estate listings, employment, job offers or credit card offers. And now you're going to see the new audience or you can select the saved audience. So location, living in New York, then you're going to see range of 18 to, I uh, don't know, 25. And you can add exclusion or you can narrow audience or you can simply add a filter, retargeting and lookalike audiences, personal attributes. So you can add like education, financial, life events, parents, relationship, work, or what kind of interest they have. So action games, board games, you can really choose what, whatever you want, right? Even the politics. And you can really see that you can target literally everyone, right? Who likes furniture, do it yourself, gardening, or expats, living in Brazil, right? So this is what you can do. And these are the filters. Then you can add exclusion. Do not target people who match the following criteria and these people won't be targeted. Then you're going to see budget and schedule. You can have daily euro or total. So daily I can go 100. And then if I'm going to choose the schedule until 24, it's going to be 700, 23, it's 600. But what you can choose is total. How much are you going to spend? And that's how much you're going to spend in those days. And then you have options to set up automation and that's, that's pretty well, probably it. I mean, like creating ads is really simple. Just be intuitive and think how the, your customer is thinking, right? So how is your customer thinking? Use that to your advantage and target him based on his likes. Like if you don't know the customer, how you can sell the product, you need to know the customer, how they think to actually know it. Right? So this is pretty much it, how we do it. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you.
Then he would come here to analyze and he would see all the stats. And yeah, have a great day and goodbye. See ya.